Hey everyone, it's MK. So I am just working at my machine today and I wanted to give you a little tip just to show you one of the new functions with Premium. So I have to run out of my studio for the day and I just finished uh, stitching this block. But I want you to see that it's the first block in the row on this beautiful quilt that I'm working on today. And let me just scan up to my tablet to show you that I have done some of that duplicating that I talked about in my last YouTube video. I duplicated those blocks all the way along that row. Then I went ahead and I did the first three blocks and I've uh, skewed them individually. Then I selected the three together and I made a grouping of those three and saved it. But I have to run out now and I've only been able to stitch the first block and I don't want to lose what I've done so far, right? So I'm going to use the new option that we have to save my workspace so that when I come back, let me just touch workspace over there, you can see that I've got all those units and I want to go ahead and save this workspace now. So I'm going to go under file. I'm going to save and I'm going to save the workspace and I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'm doing this one handed, so I'm just going to call it working. All right. When I come back this afternoon after my appointment, I can just pull up that workspace. All of that skewing and positioning is going to be there. I will just have to find that second block, a spot on that second block and position it down on my second block on the quilt, but that won't be a problem. At least I won't have to go and do all of that duplicating and all of that multi-point marking and skewing again. It'll all be there for me when I get back because I always like to shut my machine down and unplug it when I am not here. All right, so that's just a little tidbit from MK today. Hope you're having a great day. Happy quilting. Bye-bye. Hey, it's MK. So I'm back at my quilt and one of you asked me if I would do a short video on when I got back to the machine. I thought that was a great idea. Now I'm going to try to do this one handed. So apologize in advance for the shakiness of the camera. So I came back to my machine and I powered it up and I opened up my workspace that I had closed. Now one thing that I was in such a hurry to leave when I left that I didn't allow my machine to travel over to this second block and give me a mark point, okay? I could have very easily let my machine go over to that block, do a needle down, needle up, pull up my bobbin thread, put a needle or a pin there, or I could have just dropped my needle at that point and shut my machine off. But I didn't, I was kind of running late to get to my appointment. Okay, so now how am I going to address this? So first things first, let me just kind of zoom in on my workspace here. Here is my merged group that I had previously open, okay? And as I zoom in here, get a little closer, you can see that the start point on block number one is kind of up there at the top edge of that center motif. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my machine, and again, you have to kind of bear with me here, I'm doing this one-handed, and on Finity, it's really awesome that I have a laser light right at the needle. Okay, so I think I have my machine in position right now. I have my grouping selected. The start circle is on the first block. I'm going to go ahead and reposition myself on that block, even though I know I've already stitched it, just because it's an easy point for me to find. All right, so I'm going to go up under Modify. I'm going to do reposition. My machine is already where it needs to be. So I'm going to come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to reposition on start point. So I'm just going to I'm just going to hit that. And right now that grouping is right on top of where I've previously stitched block number 1. That's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna jump ahead to the next start point in the middle of that next block. Now what you're seeing here, those blocks that I'm stitching out are actually blocks that I created from other triangle units. So I'm actually gonna to have to skip ahead 
um, a couple of jump points to get to block number two. Okay, so to do that, I'm coming up under Pro Stitcher. I want a new start and stop point. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use my jump arrow and I'm gonna jump it down. And if you can see on the left-hand side, now my start circle is at the next block. Now what I'm gonna do just to double check my positioning is I'm gonna hit the follow button and I'm gonna move my machine over to that block. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on this block and I wanna make sure with my laser light, okay, I'm just gonna stay, I'm just gonna stay on the screen. But what I'm doing on my quilt is I'm actually moving my machine and I'm making sure that this block is going to be positioned correctly. It really should be, and it's looking pretty good to me as I'm looking at my quilt and then gazing up at my screen, I can see as I travel through this block that it looks it looks just fine, okay? So I was able to use a start point that I previously had stitched, reposition the whole grouping on top of that unit, then jump ahead to the next place where I need to start stitching again, just double check myself by using the follow button, zoom in a little bit, and use my crosshairs on my tablet and see where those crosshairs match the block on my quilt and I can see that everything looks fine. I could if I wanted to, even with the follow key depressed, I could come over to this other block, the third block in my grouping, and I could go ahead and double check that one as well. But I'm pretty certain now that I have the one, the one positioned on block number one, that block number two and block number three are gonna be completely fine. Now, one thing before I move on, I'm gonna do a refresh. Because what you're going to see now is those other two blocks that I did not include with my original grouping. When I am done stitching these three blocks, I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab those two blocks. I'm going to skew them just slightly. This, this quilt is pretty square. A very good piecer made this quilt. But I'm going to grab those one at a time. I'm going to do some multi-point marking. I'm going to skew each one of them just a little bit to get it to fit perfectly. Then I'm going to group those together in baseline. I always like to save before I stitch. And then I'm going to stitch. Okay, again, sorry for the jumpiness in the video. I was doing that one-handed, but hopefully that helps. Um, and just, again, it would have been a whole lot easier had I just dropped the needle before I left. But there's always a way to get yourself repositioned. And my best advice to you guys is to learn about start points and how to position yourself on start points and you will make your life so much easier. All right, everybody, that's it for now. It's MK. Happy quilting and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.